All right. Hey, everybody. How you doing? I'm Dustin, and uh, today I'm doing another interview here with uh, Jay, the classic gamer. How you doing, Jay? Oh, I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing pretty good, actually. You guys aren't aware, Jay has a YouTube channel, and it's pretty fantastic. I'm a, I like it. For anybody like who hasn't seen it, Jay, do you want to describe like uh, what you do? I'm a little bit all over the place. I do. I started off just doing game reviews, but then I started watching other people's Let's Plays, and I decided to do some Let's Plays and let's show some people how good of a gamer I am, I guess. Mm. That's what I was trying to get out. I started watching other people do uh, collection videos. I was like, okay, I'll show you my collection. I got a bunch of shit, you know, and uh, I don't know, pickup videos. I've seen a bunch of pickup videos. I've, I've been picking up all kinds of stuff like every month. So I was like, huh, let's do some of that. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. In between there somewhere, I was like, I don't know, I was on TwinGalaxies.com and I was looking up some world records and I decided to break a couple of them too. Yeah, I just decided to break world records. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what drew me to your channel at first was you did a video for uh, breaking the world record for pilot wings and I watched the whole thing and I was like, wow, I never would have thought of that ever. And I thought that was an amazing idea. Right. Well, when I went to the, the site, the score was really low. It was only like 720 something. I can get like perfect hundreds almost every time on this game. I remember doing it back in the day, and I just recently picked it up right before you know I went there and looked. And I just wanted to play it again, I guess, and that gave me a reason to play it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Pilot Wings is a, it's a pretty fun video game, but uh, I remember I watched the video and it's very uh, very tricky in some parts. You're like, well, you have to do this and sort of do that, and I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and I mean nowadays you're doing the. Let's plays of like uh, the newest ones are Final Fantasy, and I think those are very well done. And that is the main reason why you know had you on initially, or well, I was going to ask, but hey, anyway, besides the point, those are fantastic, by the way. So, I mean, well, thank if, you. Yeah, I mean, for anybody especially who's a Final Fantasy fan, and I don't really know much about Final Fantasy One, and you just sort of spelled it out for me, like here's what you got to do, and I was like, oh, this is really good, very well done. I mean, and the the production quality definitely shows. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Final Fantasy, that's got to be, like, tied as my one of my NES top, fav my favorite, most favorite NES game, I guess. Mm, okay. I'd say it's tied with, like, Dragon Warrior 4. You know, I have that game, but I've never, never played it. I feel, I feel shamed. <laughs> Which one, Dragon Warrior 4? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's awesome. Okay. It's awesome. Because it's like, it's like five different stories. You play, you know, play chapter one, you're just... You're, uh, I think, Ragnar, and he's just a knight who has to save the children from this person who kidnapped them. Then you do that. And then you're like a merchant guy, the next chapter. And then you're like these twin sisters, the third chapter. And then by the fifth chapter, they all come together, and you got this big, gigantic team. That's it's 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 a long game too. Okay. Game. Yeah, that sounds very different. That sounds pretty interesting. I'm surprised that has never come across my radar. It's definitely a different take on the uh, the classic role playing game where you do get to play the different characters and then at the end they all come together. Okay, not like uh, where Final Fantasy where you're just sort of walking along and somebody joins you. Right. Exactly. Oh, okay. Exactly. That's okay. That's interesting. Because uh, yeah, it's like you you play as these other heroes that are already named and stuff, and then the chapter five you actually get to name your own hero, and you're the one who brings them all together and go I defeat see. the evil. See, yeah. When, when, uh, when uh, back in the day when I was a kid, and there was when well, I still do it to be fair, like the name entry screen, I always had to pick something ridiculous, like character's name was Booger <laughs> or something, <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, or Butt. <laughs> Just so throughout, throughout the whole game, I could sit there and giggle like his name is butt <laughs> right exactly just like in pokemon where you get to name your rival you can name him douchebag or yeah you know, or asshole or whatever <laughs> just it. and then it's like asshole wants to challenge you <laughs> and then you notice in the later pokemon games they don't let you name the bad guy anymore. yeah so like <laughs> douchebag has like yeah you beat douchebag and <laughs> I remember I brought up Final Fantasy. You said you're like, oh, I should tell you how I acquired the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, and that's a pretty funny story. How I originally got it when I was like 11 years old. I just walked into Target, saw it, put it down my pants, and walked out the door. <laughs> <laughs> you know, of course, you looked on the back of it. Yeah. I was like, this looks cool, you yeah. know. The only time I ever really stole anything is, uh, is at a Cub Foods. I, I don't know if you know what that is, but it's a grocery store. Right. And at the time, they had floppy disks, and they had Caf Castle Wolfenstein and Doom. And that was my very, it was my very short life of crime, which I, I tried to steal these two floppy disks, and I got busted. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this security, yeah, that'll stop it real quick. Yeah, and the security <laughs> guard there was, like, really serious. Like, you know, like, you, you're... You're thinking way too hard, dude. You work at a grocery store. Yeah, but yeah. that was, yeah, that was my short life. I didn't even get out the door, to be honest. You know, at least you got away with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it wasn't my only one I took from him. 
I probably got away with close to, I want to say about five, six of them before I got caught. Really? Yeah, and if I took them home, and if I didn't like them, I'd just take them up to some of my mom and pop's video store. I'd be like, I got this from grandma for my birthday, and I don't want it anymore. And they'd give me like 20 bucks for it cash. <laughs> Sorry, I can't remember. What, was this, uh, did they have like the Nintendo games just sitting in a bin or something? No, this is when they were just fresh on the rack. Oh, that's See, right. I want to I say this story because, you know, you can just go right up to them, take them right off the rack. And me and my friend, my friend did it too, so we still probably, between us, over 10 games. And this is when they were about fifty dollars a piece or oh, so. Oh man! <laughs> and so when I did get caught, there was an undercover security guard who saw me, and he knew yeah. once he got me, this was going to stop. Hmm. He knew it was me doing it or whatever. Yeah. Eventually. And like, then next, like a month later, I go in there. They're behind glass cases. So I want to kind of claim credit. That I was the reason they did. That. You're the reason they. Yeah. Every time we go into Target, it's like I have to go get. You can blame Jay the Classic Game. <laughs> You're such a rebel. Yeah, because every time I go to Target now, it's like, oh, that game looks good. Uh, I gotta go get some guy now and just like bother him so he can get his keys out. Wait five minutes. Yeah, wait like, ah, uh, kind of look at that game. Yeah, okay. The, the, no, nah, that doesn't. Oh, no, you feel good. like you're bugging them yeah, every <laughs> time. Yeah, because I mean, last time I went and like I think I bought. They give you that look like I got other things to do, man. <laughs> like, I hate my job. It just kill me. <laughs> God damn it, Jay. Why did you do that? Actually, I bet the deal with, uh, you know, like so many started coming up missing, the guys are like a sting operation. Like, we got to watch these kids to make sure they're not stealing the Nintendo games. And then you guys come in and they're like, aha! <laughs> oh, the funny thing about it is uh, my friend was with me that time and he grabbed one off the shelf too, but he didn't tell me that he spotted the dude. Oh. He didn't let me know about the dude. Was so he? I went ahead and went for it and I got to the doors and the dude grabs me by the arm. He just like he, he he clenched a fist and like poked me right in my stomach, and you could feel the box game there. It's mm. like you're busted. Yeah. They didn't even call my parents. Took me directly to jail. <laughs> do not pass go and collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> actually, I, I, I had to do the unfortunate thing when I stole was that they actually found my dad, and then I had to have the awkward, quiet ride home the entire time. <laughs> oh, never again. That is the worst feeling ever. Like dad being just super disappointed in me <laughs> my dad was really mad because this wasn't the first time i got caught oh. i got caught like four years before that when i was eight <laughs> wow you're leading the life of crime jay what the hell man <laughs> oh, i don't know Pretty i good. didn't i just if i wanted i stole it see i, I think at a very early, very early age i was uh put off to it because i was busted so early i'm like i'm not very good at this so maybe i should just not do it <laughs> <laughs> well that's really cool it's like a different uh, it's a different perspective of uh, jay the classic gamer something you probably you know i don't know you ever talked about this stuff on your channel exclusively or i was planning on adding that story into my let's play somewhere let's play final fantasy on how i got the game oh okay because I remember, as soon as I walked out that store, I, went, I parked my bike at the side of the building. Just walked over to the side of the building and started ripping the box open. Threw the box down. You know, I gra did grab the books and the maps and all that stuff. Yeah. Because, you know, you don't bring home a boxed game. Mom and Dad's like, where'd you get that? Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> You bring home a cartridge with a book and stuff, and you can be like, oh, I trade Joey down the street. <laughs> yeah, and it's like brand new looking. <laughs> like, oh, I traded him that other game for uh, it. I gave, know? I gave him punch out? Uh... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Before the, I hit record, you sort of alluded to that, you know, we had some, uh, you know, your fondest video game memory, and I you know, especially have a couple. I think, wasn't there one you wanted to share with everybody? Oh, yeah. Uh, it was probably when I was about 13 years old. And I just got my Turbo Graphics, and it was coming around Christmas time, and my best friend wanted to buy me something Turbo Graphics related. So him and his parents went to Toys R Us, and back then you didn't just pick the game up off the rack, or you know they were behind glass cases. But then they had these tickets that showed the price, and, and you took the ticket up to the desk, you paid for it, and then you took it over to another counter, and they went in the back and grabbed your item. Well, they grabbed, they were going to buy me a Turbo Stick for the Turbo Graphics, which is the joystick controller. Sure. Uh, similar to the NES Advantage, I'd say. Okay. Well, they went up there, paid, I think it was either twenty nine ninety nine or thirty nine ninety nine, something like that, which was still expensive for a 13-year-old kid. And they took the ticket up to the desk when they uh, went into the back to go get the item. They actually grabbed a Turbo Express, which was priced at that time, I think, about $299. Just to say, uh, my jaw dropped to the ground when I opened that present because <laughs> my parents didn't even spend $300 on me. Well, for anybody who isn't familiar, do you want to... What's a Turbo Express? Do you want to explain? Oh, a Turbo what? Express, I believe it was the first color 
handheld portable. Okay. And it, it it didn't take special games like the Game Boy. They had their own lineup of games, and like the Game Gear, you had to buy Game Gear games. No, what you did was just took your Turbo Graph uh, Hue cards and put them in the back of it and actually played them. But the screen on it was so small, and the pixels were so small on it, you couldn't even like see your score. Was that the yeah. type of handheld where you sit r- directly under sunlight or a lamp or anything like that? No, it was backlit. It actually oh. was backlit. Mm. But like I said, the pixels were just so small, you couldn't even see your score. Uh. Some of the enemies were really hard to see. <laughs> Some games just didn't work really well with it. Oh, that's a bummer. But yeah, I mean, nonetheless, a three hundred dollars system for thirty bucks is that's a killer deal. <laughs> All right, and I think I ended up selling it a few years later for like one hundred twenty-five bucks. <laughs> oh, well, still, I mean, that's I mean, you still made, made some I money think I gave it. them like five games, and they were like five of my best games I gave with it. And I wish I had those games still now. Okay. Do you still have your Turbo Graphics, by the way? I know it's a weird I- question, but. I still have the Turbo Graphics that I bought when I was like 13. Nice. I got uh, it in the box. It uh, it came with the Turbo Booster. I still got that in the box. I still have most of the games that I had back then. Mm. I think I had probably close to about 40 games then. Oh. I only got maybe 25 now. What happened? Dude? Over the years, who knows what happens. Uh, you know how it was back in the day. You know, well, when the Super Nintendo came out, the Genesis came out, you got rid of your Nintendo stuff so you can get the newer <laughs> stuff. That's, yeah, that's absolutely true. You never true. thought of it. You didn't even go back and play your older stuff, even though you might have really enjoyed it. You know, and I guess with the Turbo Graphics, it's much easier to lose those games because they're just like the size of credit cards. They're so small. <laughs> yeah. It's like a little thing. You're like, huh. Oh. Yeah, it's a shame. I had one of those back in the day, and I every now and then I'll, I'm poking around looking on eBay, and they're so expensive, and I'm like kicking myself. I was like, I really wish I would have kept all my gaming systems when I was a kid, but, uh, you know, like you said, yeah. Sega comes along, you're like, oh, this Nintendo looks like a piece of junk now. You know? <laughs> yeah, and so let's on, sell it so. to somebody for a couple bucks so I can get me a Sega or mm. Super. Yeah, like, oh, I gotta say, now I want to get Sun. No, like Super. Whoa, no, <laughs> uh. Yeah, it just it continues like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even like the pickup videos are pretty cool. I mean, and most of them seem like they're, you know, pickups over like, you know, a period of time, like six months, you'd collected a bunch of uh, Nintendo 64 games and things like that, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Those are pretty I had so much laying around and I hadn't even logged it into my, you know, where I keep track of what games I have and which ones I don't have and all that. Okay. They've just been sitting around. I was like, man, I need to make a video so then I can log them. And <laughs> yeah. Because I set them off to the side and let them, you know, get quite a few of them before I could make a video of them. True, yeah. Because I don't want to just make a pickup video where I show you two games or something. <laughs> I thought about doing that <laughs> recently. I was like, nobody wants to watch me. But yeah, I'm trying to extend like a video. Of- just talking about two video games yeah <laughs> yeah and some of those are good i mean and i've talked to you before and you said that you don't like paying more than like what two two bucks for a game or was five that a, bucks or five bucks. okay yeah yeah and that's i mean that's pretty fair i mean the games are pretty i don't want to say they're well they're old but they're not worthless by by any means yeah i mean it, some that's what i like about it. actually my first question is where do you usually get these pickup games i go around to a bunch of goodwills and there's a couple Salvation Army stores around here. Mm. There's a couple little mom and pops thrift stores. That's oh, very cool. And you know, when the season's right, you go yard selling. And there's a few flea markets around here. That sometimes they don't flea markets don't tend to you know get a bunch of new stuff mm. very often. So you only need to go to them like once every six months or so. True. Yeah. Well, it's, it's... Yeah, that's where I mainly get all of them. Okay. Yeah, and I think that's where I usually get mine too. And it's, it's... and a lot of the times uh, the Goodwills and uh, Salvation Armies they'll have like half off. Like if it's the, uh, a certain color sticker. Yeah. Or if yep. it has a certain number on it or something, then you get like half off of it. True. And so if the games are like overpriced and I don't want to pay, I'll just wait a couple, wait until they go on sale for half off and then pick them up. Yeah. Actually, I've had a couple times where I've bought stuff like that and they're like, it's half of the one I expected. They're like, oh, it's green tag days. I was like, oh, okay. Like, well, I guess I'm spending <laughs> five debt less dollars. Cool. <laughs> exactly. And actually, you know, I. Didn't, I like, I love going to thrift stores because that is so thrilling to find something. Like, walking in, like, oh, Nintendo 64. Oh, there's a bunch of games over here. Yes. You know? Oh, that is exactly. So cool. I love that stuff. <laughs> or it's funny, though. Sometimes you'll walk in, you'll see the bunch of games, and you'll be like, well, where's the system? You know? <laughs> yeah. Or you'll see the system, you're like, where's the games? You know, I just want to get to the games. Mm-hmm. Or the system, and there's like, well, there's no cord or so. Or, yeah, it's always yeah. missing something, or like something's like hacked off. <laughs> Actually, the thing I really dislike the most about finding cartridges in the thrift stores is like Billy Road Billy, like in marker, black marker, all over the top of it. I'm like, why do people do these things? <laughs> See, that's not one of I, I don't really care. That's, the only thing I care about doesn't work. 
<laughs> That's true. Yeah. I mean, if the label's like completely ripped off, mm -hmm. and I find another copy, yeah, I'll swap them out. But true. Yeah. I just care really if it works or not. <laughs> I'm not too picky about it, especially if I'm only paying a couple bucks for it anyway. True. Yeah, I guess, I mean, you can, because uh, I, I actually own a copy of Tempest for Nintendo, and there's just marker all over it, and I mean, for two bucks, nah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so is there, like, anything else, like, uh, that I haven't covered that you do in your channel? I mean, you do the pickups, you do the, the Let's Plays and the uh, World Records and things like that? I am planning on going to do a couple more contests, I think. I, got, oh. I think I got some cool stuff uh, I want to give away. I don't know when the time's right. I don't know if I'm going to do it like maybe a 250 sub special or something like that. Or uh, That's very cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't I mean, I mean, haven't been on... I don't think I've been on YouTube as long as you have. You've been on YouTube for about a year or so. Yeah, it usually comes a time where you give back a little bit. <laughs> maybe you should give away your turbo graphics. <laughs> Actually, about a year ago, I ran into one at a flea market. And it was just in a box, and it was all the way at the bottom case. I had to go get the lady to open up the thing. As soon as I pulled, I saw it. Before she, I got to the case, I saw there was a turbo stick in there. Mm. And I was like, cool, there's a turbo stick in there. And the lady opened the case. I took out the box. The, the 64 was on, or not 64, but the turbo graphics was on top. So as soon as I lift up that turbo graphics, there was another turbo stick under there. Nice. And I already knew at this point, those are worth $30 a piece. Dude had a price tag of $25. Okay. So actually, I got an extra turbo graphics that I haven't even... <laughs> It's got, one, it's got just a regular... T I took the controllers for myself because oh, I wanted them. I love but that. It's got Keith Courage and a regular controller with it. Oh, very cool. Oh, man. That's the one system I'm definitely going to have to pick up now. Talking about now, it so much. I only pay like 25 bucks for it. So. Oh, yeah, and they go for like... They go for a lot more online. <laughs> yeah, I mean, usually, and I, the one thing I forgot to mention is usually when you do your reviews, the, you do the, um, what would you say, the, the black label cartridge Nintendo games? That was the... My first plan when I first got on, I was going to do the first 18 games for the Nintendo. And that was the first black box ones. They had, there was like, uh, I think about 30 of them total. But the other ones came out in 86 and 87, so. Okay. Yeah, and those ones, for some reason, uh, the ones I knew least about, like uh, Wrecking Crew. and Wrecking Crew was really good review, in my opinion, by the way. And uh, I can't remember, did you do Ice Climber? Yeah. Okay. I also did Ice Climber. Yeah, I like those. I like those really old ones because uh, not a lot of people sit down and say, hey, here's some kind of... Well, they're not obscure by any means, but like I didn't know anything about them, so it's always fun to learn. <laughs> yeah, those were the ones I was used to playing when the Nintendo first came out. Me and my friends used to play the hell out of Kung Fu. Uh, of course, Mario Brothers. Everybody had that one, though. Yeah. Uh, but Excite Bike, Ice Climbers was one of my favorites. Wait, wait, actually, you know what? I was going to ask you about Kung Fu in particular. Because you said you did... Do uh, uh, you want to explain what you did on that video? <laughs> <laughs> I did a Let's Play on Kung Fu. And you know, I tried to do like a parody of Kung Pao Enter the Fist on it. Because mm. I just... Every time I played... When I reviewed that game, I was just making the voices as I was playing. Just cracking me <laughs> up. I thought it'd be funny to do. And you have a bad guy and you got the wee oh wee oh wee girl. I never understood that, but I always thought it was funny. That the wee oh wee <laughs> <laughs> I did too. I think those movies with voices and stuff, they're just hilarious with voiceovers. Well, I mean, for anybody who hasn't never seen Kung Pao, I don't know, how would you describe it? It's like he took it. It's like they took two cheap karate films back in the day, cut them up into different pieces, and then he changed the voice. The main character does all the voices in the movie, I think. Yeah. And he just gives them their own little, like Wimp Pal, his voice is hilarious. <sighs> I think that's what his name is. Yeah. Or Wimplo. <laughs> He's funny. The bad guy is hilarious. So that, yeah, I, you so know, that's basically what he did. Took two old crappy karate movies and spliced them together. Well, and, yeah, and then he filmed some new stuff and sort of imposed right, himself. He into inserted it. his head on one of the, uh, the one of the older films, main characters. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they just <laughs> CGI'd his head onto there. Yeah, that uh, that movie. I don't know if you ever. There's a Woody Allen movie called What's Up Tiger Lily that basically he did the same thing. Well, oh, I've never seen that. Almost movie. the same thing. He took out all the dialogue and all the music and just redubbed the whole thing. That's actually a pretty good movie. It's pretty funny right. for 1960 <laughs> whatever. <laughs> well, Jay, man, thanks for coming on. Uh, you know, I really uh, liked the interviewing. It was actually pretty eye-opening. No, I'm just kidding. That was. <laughs> No, it was it was a lot of fun, you know, and I hope you had you know fun doing it. I know it was a, interview is a little bit. Well, actually, it's about the same length as the other one. I mean, oh, I appreciate. Yeah, I appreciate it, you having me on, man. Yeah, I mean, and def I think more people need to check out your channel. I like your videos. Oh. I've been enjoying them ever since I uh, subscribed to you and found you. 
I've actually went back and looked at some of your older stuff, too. Okay. Well, yeah, thanks. I appreciate that. I just recently watched that Castlevania one you went through. That one like was... A, like I said in the comment, I don't think I've ever beat that game. Oh, that game was, that game was a nightmare. Well, because the first thing it was like, because I, I was playing it so much to get good at it, and I got good at it, but then I had problems recording it. It was like the game did not want to be reviewed. It was weird. Like, I was cursed. <laughs> like, I almost had a real curse. And I, I, wouldn't, I wasn't satisfied until I actually saw it on YouTube. Like, you know, I, was, I could just wash my hands of the whole thing. Because what'd you do? You died, like, what, three times? Something like that, and I really, I wanted to do a perfect walkthrough, but, you know, it doesn't happen because the game is so archaic and random at times. Yeah, uh, you definitely can't do it when they just keep knocking you back into the pits. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because there's that one part on the final level where the bats just, for no reason, dive bomb for no reason. And they, some, <laughs> sometimes they sometimes they don't, sometimes they do, and I don't know why. And you showed me a lot of secrets on there I didn't know, where you got to go to certain places and, like, money bags pop up and stuff like that. Yeah, and actually... You know, I, I found a couple of them, you know, playing around with it, but... I never knew there were that many. Yeah, there's yeah, there's a, actually there's a couple more that actually I missed uh, when I was just walking through, and I was like, oh man, I should have showed that one over here, you know. So there's definitely a few more, and there's more, way more when you beat the game and go through it on hard, which I don't, I don't have the patience for hard mode. It's hard enough on normal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dealing with yeah, bats flying around and monsters jumping out of water and shooting, uh, it's just frustrating game. So yeah, well, yeah, thanks Jay. You know, I appreciate the the nice the comments and things like that. And I, you know, and anybody who's listening to this, definitely, definitely, right now, just go check out you know Jay's channel because it's it's awesome. I mean, and the reason this this whole thing came about is because I was online one night and I was looking at your views. I'm like. And I got really mad, and I was like, man, Jay needs way more views than this, because this I'm like, you know, YouTube can sometimes be bullshit. That, and that's just my opinion, because in my opinion, you make, you make really good videos. Yeah, I, I, the way I see it, I'm, I'm still kind of new on YouTube, and it just takes time. You just gotta be patient. That's the yeah, end. That's you'll you'll true. get more views and more views and more views. Well, you know, and hopefully, you know, some people that have listened to this that they'll come over. Def- you know, hopefully, I that's my hope is that they'll come over and you can get the the you know the respect that you definitely deserve. So <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. All right, Jay. Well, thanks for coming by, everybody. Thanks for listening. I don't know, Jay. Anything else you want to say or? Um, keep on classic gaming.